Ariel, as we've been saying here, no call for restraint at all from Biden. Were you surprised? I think this was possibly the most pro-Israel speech that any president has ever given. And I mean, I was and I won't. I was and I wasn't surprised. Usually, we at least pay lip service to calling for restraint. I can't say that the U.S. truly calls for restraint. Uh, we give almost four billion dollars a year to Israel's military, but at least we usually pay lip service to it and call for some degree of de-escalation. But in this case, President Biden was. Um, really pledging to be part of uh, Israel's promise. I mean, they have stated an intent, a promise to carry out um, horrific war crimes.